Her husband had a six-figure job on Michigan Avenue, a beautiful suburban home, and kids. Then he tried heroin. To investigator Dave Savini is here with more in this original report. Dave. Heroin swept in like a storm and decimated Shannon Ryan's family. Her husband pawned everything, including her wedding ring. They lost their home, and she says her husband's addiction even took the life of their oldest son. Hey, girl. What's up? Yeah, you. Let me catch you on the west side. This cell phone video shows Nick Ryan high on heroin. I can't feel my foot. The 20 year old got hooked on the drug by his father, Tim Ryan, also seen on video, doped up and sitting motionless on a couch in what once was their Oswego family home. And it was a horrible, horrible thing to see. Their addiction to heroin led to repeated overdoses and tore their family apart leaving Nick's mom, Shannon Ryan, forever scarred. Heroin destroyed your family. I felt my soul die inside. She took the cell phone video, hoping that by seeing it, Tim and their son would get sober. But it didn't help Nick, who died of an overdose last August. No parent should have to go through that. And all that lady wanted was uh, a good husband, uh, some kids, and I took all that away. And then I set the path for, uh, for my son. And it's if they've done a substantial amount of opiates. Tim Ryan did eventually get clean and devotes his life to running support groups to help other addicts like Adam Silvers. And you were how old? 17. Adam was Nick Ryan's best friend and got hooked on heroin after making drug runs with the father and son. So the first time you tried heroin, it was with Tim? Yes. They would drive to a Chicago street corner just off the Eisenhower and Cicero Avenue. I'd come down and buy four or $500 worth a day. So you were a pretty good customer. Oh, I was a phenomenal customer. Adam, how many times did you make this trip yourself? It was almost every day for months. Adam Silvers is sober and in recovery and works with Tim Ryan. They know they can't bring Nick back, so the two are on a mission to save the lives of others by telling their story. This is the alley where you would come and buy the heroin. Yep. Empty heroin bags and used syringes are scattered across the alley, evidence that the demand is as high as ever. What is it like to be back here? It, it sickens me to, uh, to see where I'm at, to, to see what we caused here. Um, just brings back hellish memories. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I, I wished it was Tim there instead of Nick. She divorced him two years ago, but supports him and his effort to save other kids. I hope it helps somebody. Tim Ryan speaks at schools and meets with families and runs a not-for-profit organization called A Man in Recovery. They focus on saving lives and helping people find treatment centers. Go to CBSChicago.com. We have a link to that group. It's unbelievable to see a father with his son doing heroin. Were there any other children in the house? They had other kids. Those kids are supporting the family in the efforts to get people off this drug. They wanted to show the true reality of what, what happened. Kids out of the house, older? They're older. They're yeah. older kids. And you're back tomorrow night, too. Tomorrow night, we're going to show you about a life-saving drug and whether or not every first responder should have it on them that can save a person from an overdose All death. Right. Two nights in a row with Dave right. Thank you, Thanks, Dave. Man.